All right, hey everybody, good day. Thought I'd give you a little video of changing out the home theater and a Magna, which is gonna be very similar to most of the products made from 2000 and newer. So as you can see, I've got the AV cabinet out. It's on the rack that actually uh, goes from the floor to this edge here on the cabinet. And then that way you can set your audio video equipment to the rearward end. On this Magna, they all plug in behind this control panel over the entry door. So I wanted to show you before I got too far on taking that off. So this awning control is magnetically held on. Always take this and unplug it first because this port on the back here can get damaged and ripped off of there. I've had to solder it up for other audio, other audio video technicians. Luckily I haven't had the problem. And then you can take this panel and then, sorry about that image. So then you can unplug the blind control also. I don't bother taking this brass catch off right here. Actually, you can kind of twist it, rotate it over it, then pull on it like this. It's got a little Velcro aftermarket. Make sure this doesn't catch on there. And then you can pull this out. And then we've got a plug here for the override and then we're going to actually just kind of let this we'll tape this up here in the corner to let it hang and be able to come into here and then i'm going to unplug that dvd player and then that stereo receiver so i just wanted to cover that real quick i'll uh, get those other components unplugged get some new stuff plugged in and then i'll uh give you a little bit further uh on this all right so i've come in here I've got the new receiver installed here. Got that uh, satellite receiver that was up on the top. I ran a new uh, HDMI cable down to the bottom with the new 4K compatible instead of the little Amazon cable. Then I did the same down here on the back of the Blu-ray player. This receiver was only a 5.1 and this coach was a 7.1. So I tied the driver side rears and furthest rear together and then did the same on the passenger side. And then Country Coach used these banana plugs. So reutilize those and that way you can stick them into the back of the components. And then I've taken everything and I've got them all tied up nice and tight here. All my low voltage here for source separation and then my high voltage here. Not just all zip tied together. I'm going to come in with my flush cutters, cut the zip tie off, clean this up. And then I'm going to slide this all back into the rack. And then we'll go through the system configuration next. good the view was of that because i kind of set it up in that mop box right here above the seat <clears throat> but as you can see i've got that slit in here i'm going to come along with a razor blade and scrape all this silicone off scrape this silicone here off and this here off and that way i can then silicone these down right here at the feet and secure them in a small puddle under the sony that'll get this somebody's installed some velcro here i'm going to remove that and then now i'm going to make a brand new black panel to go around all this so i'll go ahead and get those couple things done and then i'll show you the material that i'm using for the panels and how i cut that out and go through there and it looks like we've got on the tv we're ready to do some system setup for the blu-ray so we'll get going from there and bring it back on in here in a minute all right so i've got all the equipment in here centered up got a test dvd going in here checking the audio got all the audio going and then i've got my abs panel here i've taken some yellow tape marked it on on the back i've got my squares here that i'm going to cut out for each one so this is a 330 seconds abs plastic material available we get it from a place called multi-craft plastic but it's going to be a national available product so i'm going to go cut those out and then I'll put some holes in these corners 
and get it screwed in and let you see how that all looks. So that's it. You've got the two screws in the sides here once I've slid it in. Then I'm going to cut this panel out and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to do a little closer here. So we've got the TVs working. Goodwill getting busy. We've got the AV plastic trim all made up, cut in. A couple screws here in the corners to be able to secure it. And then some puddles of silicone under the bottoms of all these pieces of equipment to hold them in during transit. Um, on the subwoofer and the magnets, it's going to end up here under the TV, under the dinette. It's there in the center of that black box. In the affinities, it's going to end up under, excuse me, magnets and affinities under the dinette. Intrigue is going to be here in the galley and also on the allure from the 07 newer product lines so that's going to be a quick little closer here on this it's all buttoned up now on this particular one you've got the grate here so that way the remotes will work through the door if you don't have that style then sometimes we put a remote extender up here in the corner so that way your remote can get into the cabinet and then we'll put some eyeballs on the front of the appropriate equipment or use the infrared on the back some of these have that so this is going to be all wrapped up here tv's all wrapped up there and we'll get this mess cleaned up off the dash and we'll get out of here but i want to thank everybody for watching this quick video on doing the home theater upgrades in the front um comment below what you think what you don't like or you do like or if you have any questions i'll try to get back to you in a timely fashion i want to thank everybody for watching my channel uh if you're not subscribed please hit that subscribe and then uh, let your friends know also. And I hope everybody's having a great day. Till next time, bye-bye now.